Hello everyone and Assalamu alaikum. This is Introduction to Psychology Part 1 by Dear Knowledge. Okay, we have successfully completed the lesson 1 of the chapter 7. Chapter 7 is all about attention. So, uh, again, chapter 7 is the last chapter of Introduction to Psychology Part 1. And we have divided each chapter into different lessons. And if the lesson uh, was a bit long, so we divided the lesson into different parts. So, uh, we have completed the part 1 and part 2 of the lesson 1. If you haven't watched all those videos, I have provided the links of all those videos in a proper sequence in the description box. You can click on those links and watch those videos. So, in this video, we'll start uh, the lesson 2 of the chapter 7, which is the fluctuation of attention. So, let's start with the fluctuation of attention. Now, fluctuation of attention is basically another phenomenon of attention, and this refers to the length of time an individual can continuously focus his attention to a single object. Now, attention is not steady or concentrated throughout. Uh, at one time, an object comes into focus, and um, at another time, it goes out in the fringe. Now, let's take an example. For example, um, if we give our attention to a very mild stimulus, for example, ticking of a timepiece, now which is heard from a distance, now the ticking sound uh, appear for a moment into our attention, and at this at the next moment it may pass out of attention. We can take in another example, for example, uh, a dim light, uh, a dim light that is seen from a distant point. Now, the light may appear for a moment into our attention and at the next moment it may pass out of attention. Now, this is what, what we called fluctuation of attention. Uh, in other words, fluctuation of attention, the fluctuation is waxing and waning of attention. Uh, in which one moment, uh, uh, in, at one moment, the attended object or stimulus comes in uh, within one's attention, while at another moment it disappears. So the same object is sometimes attended to, while at another moment it may become out of attention. So this is what we called fluctuation of attention. Now, uh, related to closely related to fluctuation is shift of attention. Now, in shift of attention or attention passes from one stimulus to another stimulus or um, from one aspect of the stimulus to another aspect of the stimulus. Now, shift of attention is a usual phenomena found in children. Now, children generally lack the ability of concentration Therefore, shift of attention is more frequent, and in adults, uh, also the attention shift from one part of the object to another part. Now, let's take an example. For example, while reading a, reading a book, our attention shifts from word to word, sentence to sentence, paragraph to paragraph, and from page to page. Now, similarly, while playing. Uh, card games or attention shifts from one card to another. Now, this is what we call shift of attention because our attention shifts from one object or one stimulus to another stimulus. Um, basic differences or basic difference between the fluctuation of attention and shift of attention is that um, in the former case, the same object appears or disappears from our focus of attention, while in the latter case, our attention shift from one part or aspect of uh, uh, to another part or aspect. So this is the main difference between a fluctuation of attention and shift of attention. So this was about the today's video. If your concept is clear, you can like the video. If not, you can ask us in the comment section and we will be happy to help you out. Plus, if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel. You can subscribe to Dear Knowledge and click on the bell icon so, whenever, so you will never ever miss any notification and whenever we upload a new video, you will get an instant notification. You can also share the link of this video, uh, link of our channel with your family members and friends because sharing is caring. Until then, Allah Hafiz.